Hello there, and welcome back to Shoot Shiny Shit, the game. Yes, I'm never even bothering to stop swearing this time. It's a lot more fun when I don't. Alright. Push the switch. Push the switch. Miss the switch. Awesome. Grenade it. Miss entirely, because only one half of the shield was open. Because you don't know, naturally. If you only open one half of the shield, that you know, stops all of the concussive blast from coming through. Oop. Not sure how or why that stopped that from happening, but whatever. Fuck up their invasion. Distinctly put as always, Tommy. In all seriousness now, why would blowing up the uh, little reactor thing there cause the entire housing to drop down into the ground? Hmm. Oh well. Questions for another time, I suppose. Really? Level 1 mooks? That's what you're throwing at me at this point in the game? Really? Uh, but yes. Things seems to be going pretty well, I reckon. I mean, um, well, yeah. We're into the final phase of the game. We're not doing too badly with ammo and weapons and such. Got myself a fun death laser in uh, the other part, didn't I? Well, of set, should I say. Yeah, all in all, I'd say this is going pretty well. Keeper, you son of a bitch! Get back here! Yeah. Scream angrily at her, Tommy. That'll make her come. Well, that didn't sound right. <laughs> That'll make her come back, should I say. I mean, naturally, if you saw a gun-wielding maniac charging down the corridor at you, screaming at you to come over to them, I'm pretty sure you'd do that, wouldn't you, Tommy? Yes, you probably would, wouldn't you? I'm sorry, so I'm supposed to be taking you seriously, chum? Ah, oh, what a shame. Dear God, am I out of ammo for every gun I own? How the hell did that happen? No, seriously, how the hell did that happen? I settle on frost energy. I hate frost energy. It's so gay. I don't have to push both these buttons at once, do I? That ooh, health station. Didn't notice you. Right. What the crap? Who's throwing grenade? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Take some. Well, that is not frost energy. My gun just shot lightning. Now I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm going to take a moment to process that. I now suddenly have a gun that fires lightning. What the crap? Why did nobody tell me about this earlier? Is this something unique to the final stages of the game, or... Were some of those frost stations, what I assumed frost stations, I was walking past earlier, were they actually supposed to be lightning stations? I've missed out on my chance to be shooting people with lightning for the entire game. Because that would annoy me. Just a touch. Just a touch. Ammo, tasty, tasty ammo. Game saved, thank you. Keeper! Show yourself! Yeah, just keep shouting as loud as you can, Tommy. That'll really help us. Actually, maybe it would. He shouted so loud, he's caused particle matter to randomly condense. Wow, that is impressive. Take some lightning to the face. Except you've got a magic shield, haven't you, naturally? It's going to be one of those kind of boss fights, isn't it? To avenge my people. Your people. Well, that's disturbing and weird. Your species would never have existed. You were created only to be consumed. What are you saying? That's quite possible and all, but why the hell would you make, you know, a food species so intelligent? That makes no sense whatsoever. We seeded your world, as we have a thousand others, with the beginnings of all... Ah, so you didn't actually create the human species, you just planted the necessary materials for organic life to evolve. And then evolution went, what's up bitches, and created us. Yeah. You didn't think that through very well, did you? No matter how many disturbing Gygress paintings you throw at me. I do not understand this notion. No, God, I'm already Star Trek crap. It's too early in the morning. So if any moment now she turns around and goes, show me some more of this Earth thing you're called kissing, I'm going to vomit. Add your strength and knowledge to ours. You will become like us. Remember, kiddies, resistance is futile. We'll become God. That doesn't actually sound so bad, actually. 
quite frank, considering that, quite generally, Tommy, you don't actually have any connection to the Cherokee Nation at this point. You've been rejecting your heritage your entire life. And these folks on board the spacecraft haven't really done anything to deserve you avenging them in any fashion. I would say, accept the power and rule the universe as, you know, the God Emperor. That's just me. Anyone who's played, well, not played, anyone who's watched my Let's Plays knows in, uh, in which direction I lean when it comes to moralistic choices. Whichever side gives me the greatest advantage of powers and, uh, well, yeah, powers, really. I think the only game I can actively think of that actually balanced out the power sets enough to make the moral choices actual moral choices was probably Jedi Academy. Yeah, yeah, that's probably the one. The first game I can think of that actually made the uh, the good, quote unquote, or light side powers not completely useless for the majority of the game. Although Mind Trick has always been a bit crappy, but you get the general idea. But yeah, same reason I went for the evil ending in Bioshock. It just wasn't worth not being able to buy any upgrade powers for the entire game. Just for the, you know, technical ability to say, I did the right thing at the end. I mean, sure, they tried to punish you for uh, making the most practical choice by, you know, implying that, you know, you were mean to little girls. And then became, you know, Emperor of the World as a result of it. Which I'm not sure... Yeah, it's a bit of a mixed message really, wasn't it? I suppose it wasn't the worst way they could do it. I've seen games that really ham-fistedly handle the kind of stuff that happens if you choose the, uh, the bad quote-unquote choices and go the evil route. They imply you get horrendously butt-fucked by pretty much everything in the universe. I'm thinking specifically of The Force Unleashed in this regard. So remember, if you choose the dark side ending for that, spoilers ahead. So, you know, stick your fingers in your ears and go la 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 if you don't want to know. If I remember specifically for that, you choose the dark side ending, and Starkiller basically gets most of his face and his limbs ripped off when a piece of glass implodes and he gets half sucked into space by it. I think a ship crashes into him as well, just for good measure. And, uh... They do the same thing in Fortune Leaves 2, don't they? Yes, they do. They do. Choose the dark side ending for that. And, um... No, oh, guys, not one of these things is. Project Manticore! Anyway. You choose the dark side ending for that, and you basically get... You know, spine raped... By a dark side clone of yourself. That was apparently hiding out and following you the entire game. Just waiting for Vader's order to, you know... Royally fuck up your shit. Which makes no real sense. Considering everything that's happened in that game, why would Vader not order the assassin to kill you? But whatever. In fact, why would he even care about you if he's already got a clone that's already turned to the dark side and obeying his whims? Again, it makes no sense. Why would you keep making clones if that had happened? Anyway. Yeah, that's enough of that. Let's talk about the boss fight, shall we? Well, sort of a boss fight. A basic idea is she'll keep spawning enemies of varying tiers to come and fight you. Every time you beat a wave, she appears briefly, I think. She to try and give her a pounding. Which is very hard, seeing you can only damage her when you manage to knock the shield out. Which is kind of irritating. Um, is she going to appear now? I think she appears pretty soon. Oh, no, wait, she summons one of these guys first, doesn't she? It should be more intimidating if, you know, it wasn't pathetically and tragically easy to kill him. yoo -hoo! I'm round the pillar. We dance around the maple, the maple, the maple. We dance around the maple. Come on, son, you can do better than that. It's kind of nice, though, they give you some infinite respawning energy. You know, slurp up and do as you will with. So yeah, now the fight proper starts. I'm not sure what the point of the circling lasers is. You can't suck them into the energy cannon for a power boost. They don't seem to do any damage to her either. But they do damage you every now and again, which I don't understand the general purpose of, if I'm quite frank. Uh, but yeah, we'll conclude this fight in the next part. Till then. Bye-bye.